Yo, what's up guys, the Insane Game Freak here, here to bring you another figure review that I didn't even think I was going to do until obviously this whole situation with trading with motherfuckers in England because motherfucking England, motherfucker. <laughs> so I have another figure review for you and this is going to be the justification for the ripped shirt. I did not rip this shirt. The figure I'm reviewing is a character who eats things. Eats a lot of shit. And I think I left like I had spilled some pizza on the side of my arm. To under, I don't want to really talk about how that happened when I'm eating pizza like this. I don't want to fucking talk about it. The whole point is that she ate part of my shirt. So that is my justification for not changing my shirt. Because everyone hits this fucking shirt because there's a hole in the side. But the bitch, she, she dug in and almost took my arm off. So I'm just glad that, that you know, there's no ripped skin or tissue here. But that's besides the point. The figure we are reviewing today is Bonnie. Actually, does Bonnie have a nickname? I don't think Bonnie has a nickname. It's the Grand Line Lady Jewelry. 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 Yeah, Jewelry Bonnie. Oh my god, Jewelry. Jewelry Bonnie. My god. And it's this is made by Banner Presto. Uh, Japanese version. Grand Line Lady. I'm just gonna kind of show this off real quick. Now, personally, this is if I was going to get a Bonnie figure, this is the one I would have gotten anyway. Because the other one, she's like sitting down with her legs spread open, eating like pizza, chicken and shit. Which looks really bad. I mean, mind you, Bonnie's known for being a greedy motherfucker the few times we have seen her. But that's not something I necessarily want to see her as. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to open this box. Which surprised me, I don't think it's going to take as long as the other ones did. And I'll be right back to show you the full figure. Okay, I'm back. And I have gotten Bonnie out of the figure. I did not realize that Bonnie was this thick. I don't know why she looks... I don't know, I don't remember Nami looking this thick. But, like, Bonnie looks like this. This looks really thick. And I know that didn't look right at all. Unfortunately, I don't give a shit. I have to do in order to get this autofocus, I have to get this as close as I possibly can and then hope to God the autofocus works with me. I'm gonna have to manually do it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to manually do it, okay. There we go. So this is Bonnie. In her full figured glory. They got the face pretty right. I'll bring it a little bit closer. And then I'm gonna. There we go. Alright. Her face is right. They even got like the, the, the little. I don't know what the, if you consider that a scar or what. Whatever the fuck. They got the stockings right. These things are really shiny. Like the little cufflings are really shiny. And then her shoes. She's actually really well made. Like there's nothing. I don't see any paint issues or anything on this bitch. I, don't, I better not call her a bitch. She might eat my shirt again. Hair is fine. Ass for the guys. There's no like paint markings on the hat. There's legitimately nothing wrong with this figure. Which I'm actually surprised. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like I was looking for error. Still pretty cool though. Look at that. I could give you a peep show, but even I don't think that is worth it. And there actually is space that you can you can see the space between like the strap, her breast, and like her going to her pants and shit. Is that even need anything wrong with her hands? No. Nothing wrong with her hands. This is like a perfectly legit figure. No bullshit. I have nothing to complain about. Obviously no articulation. This is just like a fucking statue. I don't... Okay, you can't bend these. I don't... Oh, you can. Oh, that's cool as shit. And, he, and It's even behind. Like, you can see it. It's right there. You can also see the straps and other things. So... And the jacket isn't... 
well, obviously the jacket is connected to her body, but it's not like to the extent of, uh, it's not to the extent that you would think. Um, but there's nothing inherently wrong with this figure. Nothing. I have no complaints. It, it fits the character. The smile works. The outfit is great. No bad paint job. No complaints. No complaints. I'm actually trying to find a problem now. Fuck it. I don't see a problem with it. The shit's legit. It doesn't come with any extra faces or anything. And then, where the fuck is it? I just had it. Oh, it's right here. Then the little plaque that comes with it. Now, it doesn't have anything on the front. Like the, you know, the the New World thing does. Actually, does it? No, I saw like a reflection. No, that's the back of it. The only thing it has is on the back the Grand Line Lady symbol, which this is, you would not know this is a fucking One Piece thing. I'm sorry. Like, look at this shit. This is not, this looks like Pirates of the Caribbean, if anything. I don't know what the fuck that was about, but I'm going to quickly. Also, the stand looks a lot more, like, workable. Look at that. I guess she's going to be standing, like, leaning or whatever the fuck when I put her on here, but actually, I'll see you in a second because I'm about to put her on here. I don't think she should be leaning. This is like they just decided not to put in, like, a part of her fucking back heel and then just, like, be like, yeah, we're going to put you like this. I don't know if I'll cut this out. It just really depends on how much I give a shit. Look, I heard that click. So I think we're good. Yeah. Okay. So this is what she looks like on the stand. Fucking beast of shit okay fits well no real issues with it falling over I'm actually doing this a lot just to see if because I know some of the you know obviously the other straw heads don't work as well but this look at this I've been shaking this for like about a minute now nothing yeah so if you firmly put that bitch on here she is not going off now mind you, I don't want to get cocky. I fucked myself over with this shit before. Um, but yeah, there's really not much else to this figure. Um, everything sticks well, and that's how it looks on the feet, which I don't know if you guys can properly see. If I take out the autofocus and then just like manually focus to her feet. Like her foot just, sh like the foot just shapes to the contour of that little thing sticking out. And it works perfectly, actually. I mean, hell, it makes for one sturdy ass fucking thing of nothing else, so you can't really complain about it. Um, as a, it's not really too much to say because, for one, Bonnie isn't one of those characters where I'm like, I have a lot to say because, as I said, she's not even like. She's like in the higher half of the supernova I like, but she's not even like the top three to me. To me, it's like Hawkins and like Apu and shit. Those are the characters I really like. But Bonnie's cool. This is a good figure. And now this starts the beginning of the supernova collection. And just out of curiosity, is there like, would you guys want me to review the entire like supernovas? Or would you want me to review specific ones? Like, obviously, people are going to want me to review Law. And kid, so I'm not gonna fucking ask. But would you want me to review like the lesser ones, like Arouge and like Capone and fucking I'm missing one or Hawkins? Well, I don't think Hawkins is a lesser, but I know Capone and Arouge are. Like, would you guys want me to review those? Would you want me to review all of them? Because if you do, I mean that's perfectly fine. Also, I guess there's one other thing I could tell you. Ass crack is seeable. On here, I know that's such a random thing to bring up right now, but I just noticed it. Ass crack is seeable, and just like Nami, she does not wear any panties, or I'm assuming her pants consider are considered her unofficial panties. I don't even fucking know, but whatever the fuck. Um, and because Bonnie hasn't been seen so much in the manga or the anime, 
There's not really a quote. I, can, I can't even quote anything from her. It said that she's fucking hungry, but that can go for Luffy, too. Uh, but anyways, just as a curiosity question, would you want me to review the other Supernovas when I get the figures or when I bother with them? Uh, just, you know, just type it in the comment section below. And uh, please send me your thoughts on the figure. Thank you, Jay, once again, for giving this for me. And on to the rest of the Supernovas. Oh, by the way, there is some, like, painting issues, but they're so minuscule on here that e my camera is not even good enough to show it to you. I can see it, but I, I but it's one of, like, really, any issues with this thing in terms of painting, you have to look, you have to be looking for it. You have to be looking for it, and you got to be, like, like, dead set on finding that shit. Because it took me, like, 14 minutes to realize that fucking there are small issues, like the little white fluffy things on the stockings are not miscolored, but you can tell they, the, the job isn't necessarily amazing. Um, and, like, one side of the belt, the, the painting is kind of messed up, but nothing really infuriating. I mean, the overall job is perfectly fine. I'm not that ticked about it because nothing's broken and everything looks fine. Everything looks like the anime manga counterpart. So I'm going to stop fucking rambling. Please send me your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Thank you, Gay. Thank you once again, Jay, for sending this to me. Um, I can't wait for yours. <laughs> Anyways, uh, life's a game. Play to win. And I will catch you guys later. And we will both say peace out. But because she's a hungry, mean bitch, she's going to try to eat my shirt again. I'm going to put her over here, and I'm going to do it by myself, because she might come over here and attack me. So, uh, peace.